defend. Crush them! He just came out swinging from nowhere! Huh? No voices? <sighs> this guy's pretty quiet. Miss, let's hurry up. Flip open the lid and find the girl. Wait. Don't move. Something's off. How is this possible? How can people die inside Pentaconi's dreamscape? In the Garden of Recollection. What did you do? <sighs> you did this, didn't you? Killing people in their dreams. Only the Remembrance has the powers to do that. You planned it out all from the start because she teased you and was pranking you. You wanted to kill her. Oh, I understand. You refused to let me go because you wanted to drag me into all of this. If I don't agree, I'll end up just like she did. There is no death inside Pentaconi's dreamscape. That's the promise of the family and the blessing of the Harmony. Not even a memo keeper can break this barrier. There's no need to take such great pains. If you just want confirmation, I've already told you the answer, Miss Sparkle. Miss Sparkle! Who are you talking to? You. Sparkle has disguised herself as another character. Wouldn't that be you, Mr. Sampo? This? Don't jump to conclusions! If you want to accuse me of being Sparkle, you have to provide the evidence. Oh, I'm afraid evidence is a little too hard to come by. So, deduction will do. The hint for the final question was little too obvious. Oh, you mean the locked room murder. <laughs> I thought you weren't doing that one. All the painstaking effort that Miss Sparkle put into it. How could I ever miss it? The key to solving the puzzle lay in two pieces of information put forward by the detectives. First, the large splatter of blood at the crime scene. Second, the victim had been dead for some time. Based on my shallow understanding, I can only draw two conclusions. One is that the murderer did not need to create a locked room case, because a locked room always needs a reason to exist. But, based on the detective's description, this locked room did not delay the discovery of the body. There was no third party at the crime scene to frame, and the blood everywhere didn't look like a fake to suicide. That being so, the murderer seems to have no reason for creating a locked room. There is also reason to speculate that if the crime scene was a locked room, then its creator might not necessarily be the murderer. As for my second conclusion, it's even more obvious still. 
When everyone broke into the scene of the crime, why did the assistant rush off to staunch the blood? A trained professional was somehow happily destroying a crime scene just to save someone who's obviously been dead a while. The answer is simple. It's because the assistant detective is the murderer. At the time, I was in such a hurry that I didn't hear the whole mystery. I tentatively speculated that the murderer had killed the victim the night before, but hadn't locked the door from the inside. And so, when he learned this piece of information, he realized that the victim had created their own locked room mystery. That's why he had to rush to the crime scene as soon as possible, to confirm whether or not the victim left any evidence implicating him. And, judging by his behavior, it probably had something to do with that canvas. Like some final words. Of course, this is just a simple mind game. The answer to the puzzle isn't important. Miss Sparkle just wanted to pass on one hint to me. That the murderer is the assistant detective. Which means it's you, Mr. Sambo. I've been using this term of address, but it was you who first came up with it. Has anyone ever told you that you're more like a detective than a memo keeper? In my opinion, there is no difference between the two. Follow ripples along the surface of the water. Use some abilities and tricks to keep diving deeper, and touch that secret deep inside people's hearts. Salvage it, and protect them carefully. The truth does not lie. Neither do memories. Exquisite reasoning, and very close to the truth. But I have another answer. Would you like to hear it? Another answer? The great artiste Sparkle locked herself away in her bedroom using red paint to create the semblance of spattered blood everywhere. And that assistant detective who was first on the scene, who confirmed her death, was not the murderer, but rather an accomplice who assisted her in faking her own death. What a pity, such a pity. My dear, you were so, 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 so close to the right answer. Unfortunately, the right answer is... Miss Sparkle's body. Sparkle was disguised as Sparkle's body. ding a -ling. I won! Does Miss Sparkle's body even count as a real character? Why not? Miss Sparkle's body appeared in all three of those skits just then. It's a little bit forced, but it's fine. So, who is this Mr. Sampo, then? Beautiful lady. I already confessed everything to you earlier on. I really didn't know a thing. I just helped a friend send a letter. That's all. So I've been running a fool's errand this whole time. My dear, why so serious? Haven't you been having a great time? I have, at least. You take the memories, and I get joy. We get what we need from each other. Seeing as we're such kindred spirits, but also such loners. Why don't you come and work with me? <gasps> Ooh, we can dance ballet together. Oh? Am I understanding this correctly? A masked fool inviting me to work together. A show of unprecedented splendor is about to be staged in Panacone. 
If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. If you want to appreciate this drama, you have to stand up under that spotlight as you take the stage and watch the dancing envelop you. Come with me. This is the best seat in the house. I don't really understand why you're so fixated on destroying family barriers. But, as I said before, a memo keeper can't help you. It's frankly above my pay grade. Also, I don't consider you a loner. Oh, I don't mean him, but rather behind you. The one who hired you to come to Panacone probably doesn't want you secretly linking up with other forces, right? How did you know? Memory is like the deep blue sea. But if you try to catch two fish with one cast, you might not be satisfied with your catch. <laughs> so, you mean... you're refusing? Memo Keeper, did you think you could just leave? Why not? <laughs> My dear, I don't want to scare you. You'll know the answer sooner or later. We're just getting to know each other a little today. If you ever change your mind, come find me at the tavern. That is, if you can find me. <laughs> Let's go, Sam... Sampo? Sampo. Who is... Sampo? Uh, this is... This is... Bellabog, right? I said, why not? Hmm, <laughs> don't worry. Such a crude approach violates my ecstatics of memory. So once you leave my sight, you'll be able to remember everything again. And also... I'm sorry, my dear. My dream dance partner? I've already got sights on someone else. Nested structure. Being part of the play inside the dreamscape, which is real captivating as being in a dream within a dream. That's the end of this black swan's dream, Mabel. Are you satisfied? I also found this dream suitably fascinating. You've gained joy from it. You've gained joy from it. And Miss Black Swan surely also feels gratified. Yes? If we meet again, I will pass your esteemed praise on to you. Ah, I noticed that the people in your dream were familiar to you. It's worth repeating that dreams are just dreams. And in Pentecost, dreams can be processed, or even tempered. Things in our dreams cannot be trusted, let alone someone else's dreamscape. If there's any information that you'd like to confirm, uh, please do so by the cold, hard light of reality. <sighs> Sweet dream. I wouldn't do anything to her. Don't worry about that, Memo Keeper. Let's talk about my thing. I've helped you out with everything you've asked, as agreed. Shouldn't you give my mask back to me now? 
Since when did the masked fools suddenly start respecting agreements? <laughs> Just kidding. I loved seeing that look on your face. Take this key to the tavern cellar, third barrel on the left. You never saw me. But Sampo, after all this time, what made you suddenly want to take back your mask? This doesn't seem like the Sampo I know. Let me guess. A catastrophe is coming to your LO6. Am I right? Well, no comment about that. But I love that line you said. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. That really makes sense. Sometimes even an old-timer like me feels like taking the stage and making a fool out of myself. If you're all out of options, please get in touch with me. I'm the kind of person who values friendship highly. Forget it. You'll be doing me a favor if you stay away from Bellabog. After all, the elation that Miss Sparkle seeks isn't something old Sempo can stand by. Go tell Giovanni I said hi. Fine, I'm just spitballing here. Don't take it so seriously. Why so serious? Okay. <laughs> 